Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to do a quick fun video of meeting our chickens. So we are inside kind of the temporary, this is the goat pen and there's the goats. They just got, they just got to eat some lunch. Um, and so what we did is we got 11 chickens because we're crazy. We got them right as like things started to shut down. And it was so funny because all the, like we had to go like first thing in the morning when they were open to get the chickens like right after they got a delivery because literally they were getting like thousands of chicks every day and they were selling out because people were getting chicks. Our thoughts were like, why don't we just get some? Let's see how it goes. We're just kind of trying it all out right now. We're not necessarily like too worried about it, but um, we wanted to just see and it would be something to keep the kids occupied, especially since we're in quarantine and we don't have a whole lot else going on. So that's where we're at right now. So what we did is we built a kind of surround. I don't know if you can see it well. There's a big door here. And then there's um, on basically on this third is basically the whole chicken coop. So and then inside is a smaller coop that has like the nesting boxes and that's where they go in at night. And basically once they get big enough, you can see them. They're actually pretty big right now. They're like two and a half months old now. As soon as they get big enough that we don't feel like they're going to be able to escape through the fence, we're going to let them out and they can free roam out here with all the goats. So yeah. So we're kind of excited. We, I mean, overall, it's been, like, they're not really that hard. You just have to make sure they have food and water. And, like, it's been fun. The kids love playing with them and just kind of having, and I feel like it's good to teach them responsibility, have them some, have them, how do I say it? Teaching them responsibility, having something they need to take care of. And also, we wanted to try it out. You know, if it doesn't work out, we can always, there's plenty of farms around here that we could easily give the chickens away to, so... We're hoping they don't lay eggs till like five, six months. So we're kind of hoping that they will, you know, do that soon. So we'll see how it goes. And the goats keep trying to nibble, nibble in my feet. So yeah, so without further ado, let's introduce you to our chicken. So here are our chickens. I think they're like two and a half months old. I'm worried that this little guy here is a rooster because they got a mohawk. But yeah, so these are Dominic Blacks. I think this is either, it's called a color pack I think it's a color pack and then Isa Browns they kind of have like the speckles and then we have a couple Rhode Island Reds hidden in there and a couple Americanas. 11 chickens total and this is kind of their setup so this is their like main coop that has the um, nesting boxes and we are going to try to put some more and I'm actually inside their like full coop so we chicken wired all this there's a big um, door here and I'll get you another angle from it and then this is all chicken wire. And so they have all this space to run around. This is kind of their um, kind of pen where they stay in like right now when they're really little and at night, but when it gets, when they get big enough and we're not quite sure when, they're gonna go out into the goat fence so that they hopefully won't be like trying to jump through the fence. But yeah, so this is where our chickens hit and we have like all our stuff stored up top here, like their food and stuff to make sure that they're all good to go. So I'm gonna get them some more water. It looks like they're getting low on water. And I just got done feeding the goats. They're getting themselves some breakfast and or maybe lunch, I don't know. But yeah, aren't they crazy? Aren't they pretty? I feel like they're all like really pretty birds. Like, I don't know, I never really thought much about chickens. So this little guy here is a Rhode Island Red. You can see. And I think that's an Americana next to them. So they're a little bit younger. We got them a little bit later than our first batch. So they're a little bit smaller. They haven't quite fully, um, gotten bigger yet but they're almost fully feathered and I think the rest are pretty much fully feathered so now they're like what are you doing so yep this is our chickens so the chickens have been a lot of fun it's kind of windy today so sorry and we're really enjoying you know just having a little mini hobby farm nothing too crazy just enough to kind of enjoy and not be too you know too stressed out about like we're picking the easiest animals we can to raise and we've been told that these are the easiest so we'll see how it goes so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time